Well, hello everyone. You're here to show you the JC Dude Guard, you know, in the memoir Valentine coloring here. As you see right here, is a, you know, is a, a shape of a heart right here, along with the pine cone. It's like for pine cone charm right here. And then uh, right here, I went ahead and drew right here is a, a picture of, uh, say, of, uh, say of the memoirs, like as so far as it's the uh, JC Dude Guard and along with the stolen life right here. You got the bookmark and then, you know, the story of, uh, of, as you say, is whenever. It's like you know, from you know her you know, whenever she was it was taken and then of course uh, you know, when you know, when she survived when she was rescued but uh, but you have right here let's talk about in this picture right here is uh, showing us like with the uh, J.C. Ducard is a uh, that if you were to think about it, it's like you draw like a, a picture right here and like add a scene in the background and a lot of people will probably think about it, is if they you know if maybe a good way to start to, you know if you want to get your ideas for it's like you know maybe a place uh, places that you were you would like to go maybe to imagine where you would like to be you know one of these days but uh, I, I was just thinking that uh, that you know if a lot of people ask me that question it's like what do you see yourself doing in the next five or ten years from now whatever it is but uh like a tragic is something related to like a story that uh a story you know such as uh as you say of a uh, of a survivor or you know it could be a you know prisoner or any other story you know such as uh you know maybe uh uh you know, as you say related to any type of you know you say crime you know any anything uh, related to like a mystery type story it is that uh, a lot of times it's I kind of think about it is that uh, that with uh, with me is like that uh, that uh, a lot of times it, you know whenever I was in class that, that they would have it to where if we would be reading about like what you call a fiction or non-fiction type story a lot of times it was based on like you say as a book that uh, read the three paragraphs and then of course it's like they would give you like a homework assignment to where they would have you write uh, something about this character, that character, such and such. But then, on your hand too, that uh, I was thinking about is that with most kids, uh, with most people, uh, you know, readers, book readers, it is that the thing of the thing about is like uh, that with most of them would probably say that the, if you know there you know there ain't no pictures inside the book, you know, it's hard to really to understand about what is going on during the story. The fact that you know maybe because you know the the words are hard to read, whatever it is. But then of course that um, it's like the story about you know J.C. Ducard. It's of course that the, when I the books, the book that I read through, of course, is that that you know included you know pictures and then other thing, you know, other you know say pictures and then uh, of course with uh, we say as um, uh, readings about you know the, the letters that uh, she wrote, of course, and then a. Uh, but uh, but of course, talking about with the coloring right here is one way to start. Of course, is to get your ideas for what you want to draw in the background. I was just thinking about is if you want to you know, draw like a a location. It's like you get that idea for like a you know a location, a place, a place where there will be fresh water, and of course a you know, place is like that uh, where you can maybe see mountains, and then along with the with the See a, a nice you know, wildlife. I guess a place when you know, say where you would be able to see wildlife. It is, and of course it's a good. Well, you got that you know the pink that marker right here. But anyway, uh, for, for like for fresh water is a uh, course working with a variety of, of colors right here. But to get, just have a good start is know about uh, about what color you want to work with. And uh, you know I kind of gives I ideas like you know one idea that comes to my mind and it's another and it's another and then a lot of people probably think about that sometimes that's really hard to do but sometimes I guess you just say is just is to concentrate really on what you what you want to do and uh, and I would say that that you know add like little a place where there would be like you would see a stream of water right here and then if I want to go ahead and add a a cloud, as you hear a lot of people will probably think about it, is that the clouds, I mean, a lot of them are you know, quite, a, quite a bit difficult to draw. But then, of course, just they just think about what, a, what you think what a cloud will look like. We've seen quite a few clouds before, say different shapes and sizes. Say different with different shapes and sizes. And out of those different shapes and sizes that you have it to where that the uh, that one of them, of course, you know, could be coming from the south or the east, or to say. But uh, anyway, but uh, but you have a tour that you got. You see, draw some clouds right here, and uh, and then from there, and then of course, if you want, add a, uh, you know, maybe um, 
maybe some mountains. Um, like I, yeah, I'm not familiar with it. To me, like I heard, you know, the Rocky Mountains and the Smoky Mountains and stuff. But, uh, but anyway, if you want to add, you know, uh, some mountains and stuff, and uh, of course, go ahead and use the the brown. I have seen a uh, mountain, you know, not mountains in real life, but I've seen uh, them on pictures and stuff. But I would probably think that uh, that yeah, that you know, one way to make it look realistic is just that you know, add detail. It's like to the to the mountain right here. It's like you know, maybe to the ground right here. Is that there will be a few bushes and trees and let's uh, say you know add details right here for the landscaping. But uh, see here, go ahead and you know, use this side here. Other than that, you got right here is the the, the mountain, and then of course with the sky, is go ahead and draw uh, the the sky some details right here for the sky. A lot, of, a lot of people, a lot of students in my class, of course, and I did not even show them all this uh, whenever I was going to the school. It's like so far as, as drawing something freehand, you say that you know, a lot of times. I think one of the reasons, of course, was the, you know the teachers. The teachers would always think about is that 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 you know really that that's not really a part of the assignment, of course. And on the other hand, too, that. Uh, that really, that if you're going to be drawing a picture about maybe a story or something like that, that more likely that uh, is you know use your own you know time and and esteem you know just to, just to do it. But um, on the other hand too, that they could probably think about that you know not everybody really is good at what you say is putting detail into a picture. It is. Go ahead, but of course you know adding details right here for this side, but. Um, a place where there's fresh water and of course where there's you know beautiful landscapes and then of course if uh, if I want to go ahead and and I uh, had enough room right here I can go ahead and maybe add a a butterfly I would probably say go ahead and and add like a you know a duck you know, go ahead and add like a, a duck you know about right here with this with this wings it's like yeah, if I want to you know put you know some wildlife in it wildlife in, into the coloring it's like you kind of that brown, you know, use the brown, and then of course is to go ahead and you know use a little bit of uh, of the black, black, and then up uh, see orange. Just go ahead and use orange. But uh, got the duck right there for like the wildlife, and then of course uh, is to go ahead and and add that you know add a little bit of blue, you know, just to kind of kind of, kind of looks like a a duck with some sunglasses or whatever on. Add some wildlife to it, but the other than that, that the if you have like a, a scene right here, is like with you with whatever details that you want to add for the picture, and on your hand too, that uh, you probably think about is go ahead and, and use as the, the yellow, and then you see is the red, of course, is if you want to add like a spot, say where there would be like what you call a variety of, of flowers, it is a variety of flowers. The land right here for a variety of flowers. And that's just the thing about me is that uh, that I was like that you know, a lot of the stories that I've read from over the years that uh, a lot of people probably say that you understand the story you know kinda you know, a little bit you know I read through part of the books and stuff and and a lot of times the teachers would say that you know write a paragraph or two about what you read about in the story. And uh, you probably think about it, it's like, well, what did I read about? It's like, so far as other than what you call it, it's like if, if you were to say that uh, you would survive. It's like other than it's like a story about the about the survivor it is. Is that uh, that more likely you could probably think about is that, uh, that you know, one thing to keep in mind about is, is that, uh, that um, I can always think about, of course, is maybe a box of chocolates. Or you know whatever you, you know, a box of chocolates, maybe a ribbon would be something that you know to give somebody, it's like you know for Valentine's Day. But on your hand too, that you can probably think about is you know, give them something that uh, maybe they can use. You know, you know each year is like maybe a book to read, or maybe you should say is what you say is you know for a pine cone charm, as Noah's. But uh, that I usually think about is that the, something I can make or something I can draw is like to keep in mind of. It's like to know about. Uh, about what uh, what you learn you know during the day, but uh, other than that, it's like you have right here is the J.C. Dugard and the memoir Valentine coloring.